Welcome back everyone to another On Kobe Sunny video. In today's video, we'll be discussing the inside out forehand. It's one of those shots that every good player has in his arsenal and it allows you to hit your forehand from both sides of the court, whether it's on the due side or on the ad side. And also if you have uh, a backhand that is not as strong as your forehand, then it also allows you to use your forehand more often, which is your stronger shot, and then you're able to hide your weaker shot, which is the backhand, a lot better. But it is a hard shot to uh, execute as well. It requires great footwork, early preparation, great balance, and knowing exactly where to aim on the court. And we're gonna discuss all that in today's video, so let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna discuss is what the correct footwork looks like for the inside our forehand and how we're gonna prepare ourselves as we're going towards the ball. So the very first step from your ready position is recognizing you're gonna be hitting an inside out forehand. And as soon as you know that, the first step is going to be taking a back step with your right leg if you're a right-handed player. So from here, you're gonna take a back step and then get ready in this position to get to your inside out forehand. And as I am doing that, I'm bringing my racket to the side. So I'm not doing this and then turning. I'm actually t turning and also getting my racket ready at the same time. So when I do get to the ball, I'm in this position. The next step will be is having a wider base when you are getting to the ball. And what that will allow is you to have a lot better balance when you do hit your shot, and which we'll be talking about a bit later in the, um, uh, the execution of the inside out forehand. So one more time on the footwork, starting in this position, going backwards, racket getting ready, wider base, and then from here, I can execute my inside out forehand. So now that you know how to move towards the ball, the next step is going to be how we execute our technique for the inside out forehand. So the very first thing when we are in this position now, it's called the inside out forehand. So our racket path from here is traveling outwards towards the ball and my weight is shifting forward as I'm hitting the ball. The way you're feeling the shot is you might not be doing it exactly the same, but what you're feeling is as I'm about to execute the shot, my rack is moving away from me a bit more as well. So I'm able to meet the ball on the outside like that and then finishing. And in terms of your footwork, um, I can either be in my semi-open stance or I can be completely neutral stance depending on how much time I have. The neutral stance and the semi-open stance will both allow us to have our weight transferring forward. And the preparation part where we discuss the wider base as we get to the ball, it becomes very important because if I am here and my feet are close together, my brain will not really allow me to swing through the ball because if I do, I'm gonna be falling over because my feet are too close together. So it really helps if I have a wider base like that and when I'm shifting my weight forward, I don't fall over and I'm able to keep my balance as I execute my shot. So now that you know how to hit the forehand, now comes the most important part of where on the court you want to place your forehand to get the most advantage. So I've drawn two lines here for two different paths of uh, our forehands. So one will be if I'm on the receiving side and just say that I have a weaker backhand and you're targeting my backhand. If the ball is coming on this line and is bouncing somewhere here or here and it's deep into the court, if I'm not a skilled player and I'm not able to take that ball on the rise right here, I'm gonna have to move back to actually hit the ball from here which will give you more advantage and also is pushes me back onto the court. So this area right here will be your first target of aim. Say this is where I'm gonna aim the ball most of the time. And the other option 
will be on the other line where the ball is traveling going past the singles line or the doubles line before it crosses the baseline, which pushes your opponent further wide over here to hit the backhand and it exposes all the other side of the court for you to hit into onto the next shot. So those are the two options where you can work practicing by just putting some targets down on either side, one deep into the court, one a bit shorter with a ball machine or someone feeding you the balls. Just practice how to execute the forehand that's going deeper where my racket path will be traveling a little bit further forward and a bit more linear. And then if I'm trying to get an angle on the second line, then my racket path drops down a bit more and it comes up so I can create more spin and more angle on that ball for the ball to go further to the right and uh, pull the opponent all the way over there. So go out and practice this shot and remember to practice with, uh, with focus. Always have a clear goal of where you are uh, practicing, where you're trying to hit the targets on the, on the court. Um, set up some targets like we showed you and then practice those and uh, start dominating your opponents. If you want to gain even more advantage on your opponents and learn how to hit those dreaded high balls that come around your shoulder height, whether on the forehand side or on the backhand side, then watch this video next and I will see you in that one. Thank you. Bye.